Hi, this is Brandon Smelly, co-owner of Thirst Gym, Terry and Dan. Today we're talking about an exercise called the split squat. This is an exercise we use with a lot of our athletes and our clientele to work on single leg strength and also some balance components. Um, it's very big with our athletic population as we begin to progress them to more complicated uh, single leg exercises. So what we do with most of our clients and athletes is we start them with their uh, dominant leg first if possible and then we have them basically be in a lunge position. That's kind of how we talk in, into it because most kids have probably done a lunge at some point in their sporting career. And even with a regular personal training client, they've probably done a lunge at some point uh, in their fitness journey or in their background. So we have one leg forward, we have one leg back on like with our kickstand legs, we're up on our toes, um, we've got our chest good and tall, and then we're gonna coach it that we're gonna drop their back leg knee down towards the ground while the chest stays tall and we're going to make sure we're feeling the whole foot in our front leg so we're just going to go straight down knees going to tap the ground and then stand tall so we can have a little bit of forward translation with the knee here but we don't want to be uh, toe dominant where our knee comes over our toes we want to make sure our heel stays down we're going to load that posterior chain our glute and our hamstring when we sit down tap the ground stand strong so to see it from the other leg here, toes back, chest tall, down, push through the back leg, stand tall. When we go to load it, we have a couple different loading options. Our first loading option is generally a goblet position. So we're going to take our goblet, load, foot forward, up on that toe, still back, down, and up. The reason we choose this is that it helps ensure that the chest stays tall and our posture stays good in that position. If we get two dumbbells, sometimes we can get where an athlete will be in their split stance, split stance position. And when they begin to fatigue or get tired, they pretend to kind of lean forward a little bit and then stand tall like this. And so we're trying to get rid of that because the dumbbells then lean forward. That makes it harder. Where if we've at least got this goblet position, we have to stay good and tall before we can push through our foot. So generally this is an exercise we program for three to four sets of anywhere from six to 12 a leg, depending on the goal time of season. Once our athletes get this down, again, this is an exercise you can load up incredibly heavy. You can go up to 60, 70, 80 pound dumbbells uh, with no problem. Um, so it can be used in any point of a training program. Just you gotta make sure that you're accounting for certain things based on time of season and what the athlete needs and what the client might need. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or you can visit thirstgym.com. Thanks, have a great day.